hello 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 welcome back hello welcome back to alan wake 2 <laughs> i can't do this why am i why do i sound like an idiot hello welcome back <laughs> Where we left off last time, Scratch took over Alan and killed Yako, which sucks because I actually liked him. He was probably my favorite of the two brothers. But yeah, I wanted to just start here. Don't forget to like the stinking video. Help me out, please. It helps my videos reach more people. All right, let's jump in. Uh, no. Language. Okay. It's Scratch. He was pretending to be awake. Oh, can I go back? Yes, let's go back. Oh boy. Scratch is here. How do I stop him? Bad news. The containment unit isn't prepped. The light array should affect him. Who's this? The light. Miss me. Miss me. Oh gosh. Oh, I missed him. Run away. No. Is that all I have to do to those things? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't do anything with my light. Wait. Oh, I have to hold it. Damn it. I thought I said to click it. Click or click it. Uh, run away! Run, 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 run. Damn it! Wow! He just called me a cow. There's Red Bull dripping down my mustache. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Got it. Oh, you mm, sidestepping piece of garbage. Oh, boy. Okay, so that's going to slow him down, right? We get the lights up. There we go. Got it. Sweet. Stand back, boy. I don't have much ammo left for this. Jerk. Okay, there's a box back here I'm going to grab. Hopefully it's got some rifle ammo in it. Boy, this is parts really loud. Oh, just heals? Cool, thanks for- Oh, it did, did. Okay, cool. Run! Let's do it! Do it! Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Idiot. Damn it. Come on. Okay, so, yeah, so what happened to Wake? Okay, so we're back inside of the uh, police department. We let you out? So my thought on it is like the cult of the tree, it seems like that they were doing bad stuff there, like with Nightingale, but they were trying to stop Scratch from getting out. Okay, we'll talk to him in a second. Let's come Scratch over here. Is Wake's double. He tricked us. He almost got the clicker from me. The whole plan has gone out the window. How could we get this so wrong? Textbook boondoggle. You said it, Anderson. It's a shit show. So what's the plan? The FBC usually handles stuff like this, right? Any thoughts? Hold up. You brought a paranatural object in here without telling me and then almost handed it over to a hostile entity? I didn't know if I could trust you. That was a mistake. So was believing Scratch. But it's not too late. <sighs> I just need to understand more. 
<laughs> you got that right. <clears throat> Let's start acting like we're on the same side, yeah? Um. So tell me what I'm missing. The FBC must know something. Good news, we have Bureau Intel on all of this. Bad news, it's highly classified. Good news, consider yourself deputized into the Federal Bureau of Control. Here's a key to the cell where we keep the files. Happy reading. Okay. Um, thanks. Go team. <laughs> so stupid. Oh my goodness. So we got the prison cell key. The horror story is changing reality. It made it so my daughter died here. Even though she's supposed to be back home in Virginia. Do you know if that's... Uh... AWEs are localized distortions of reality. The area outside town might not be affected. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they fizzle out. If we can make sure it's the latter, your kid might be fine. Might be fine. Okay. The whole thing is a nightmare. I can't let my family be torn apart. Having family isn't easy in this line of work. The late nights, travel, alternate realities threatening their existence. My ex-wife couldn't take it. Karen, you're better off without her. I know I am. So did he know her? Did he know her ex-wife? Okay, we'll talk to him in a second. I'm going to save it real quick. Just in case. All right. Scratch pretended to be wake to trick us. He almost won me over. I should have trusted my gut. I had a bad feeling about him when we found him at the lake. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. Wakes. I think he was always a monster. Always Scratch. I don't think he was always Scratch. I mean, the, maybe the version that we saw was always Scratch, but now it makes sense from before where Alan wakes up and everybody's dead around him, which it makes me think that the Cult of the Tree is actually trying to keep Scratch at bay because of what, what Yako said before, right before he died. <laughs> And also the fact that Scratch killed all of the cult members in the, the lodge earlier. So maybe the cult's not a bad thing. You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and... And then, uh... Then Logan... Oh, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case. If you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's, it's changing his memories completely. The story is. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. I mean, that's a good kind of way to look at it from his point of view so ooh, a new shotgun this is the kind of case my ex hated the ones that might kill me that's funny the cases that might kill me were my ex's favorite <laughs> all right let's take a look at these real quick okay collect research proposal uh, Alan Wake and cult connections Summary, in 2010, writer and suspected para-utilitarian para <laughs> Alan Wake was reported to have disappeared into Cauldron Lake, a known threshold site. Three years later, a small group responsible for multiple killings was arrested in New York City by federal investigators. The murders were recreations of deaths found in the writings of Alan Wake. Interrogations with the murderers revealed they saw Wake as a sort of prophet, describing themselves as his cult and considered his novels to be sacred texts. As Wake was missing at the time, it's unlikely he had any personal involvement with this cult. 
At least there's no evidence supporting the idea. Soon after the New York cult was detained, an organization known as the Cult of the Tree began operating around Cauldron Lake, the same area Wake disappeared. This is now the second organization branding themselves as a cult with direct physical connection to Alan Wake, operating at the location he was last seen. I propose that this is not a coincidence and would like permission to search for a link between Wake and the Cult of the Tree. See file 1454-5326 for the full proposal. Okay. Emergency Incident Report. The Lake House. Research Facility WA-03 at Cauldron Lake. WA has been compromised. Cause unknown. The incident was visually confirmed by Agent Estevez when he visited the facility to make contact with Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont. The same person heads of operation at the lake house the facility cell itself is reported to be in a damaged state with no living staff found briefing during a brief search oh gosh a longer search was not possible due to an active awe in the area requiring all available resources investigation and containment not possible with current personnel emergency dispatched of response and rescue staff is requested the investigations department has no knowledge of the lake house's recent research or projects due to worsening communication and cooperation since headquarters went dark. As a result, this report cannot determine the incident cause without further investigation. Refer to file uh, 92 33 for full incident report. Okay. Cool. So it looks like there's a shotgun here. Uh, we're going to find that. Okay. Um, so the lake house is the... Can we see the map, actually? Yeah, I think the lake house is... I'm thinking it's the one down here because there was that gate in the first couple episodes that we couldn't go through. Okay, let's go ahead and go through this stuff here. So we've got Scratch and Wake here. Scratch. What? What Scratch wants? Scratch was pretending to be Wake. Manipulating me. What does he want from me? No. I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful. Too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick. Like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. So, I wonder if he can actually, like, get into her mind kind of like her brothers can? Or not her brothers, her grandpa and uncle. This guy and this guy. Okay, Wake. Trapped in the dark place. I assumed Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in a dark place. Maybe he always was. That's kind of what I was thinking. Like, he's trapped there. Wait, and Scratch is using, like, his face, body, all that, you know, to uh, to trick us. Okay, so case board. Wake attacked. Scratch tied to the... to take the... Tr yeah, Scratch tried to take the clicker. Has Scratch been pretending to be Wake this whole time? Where is the real Alan Wake? Okay, so dark... Wake is trapped in the dark place. Okay. Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. Okay. Uh, Casey, the thing that attacked Casey had Wake's face. There was never any Wake. It was scratched the entire time. Yes. Okay. It's very true. Wake has been contacting me from the dark place. Okay. I assume something strange was happening with time, but what if it's simpler than that? Scratch wanted the same thing as Wake the Clicker. Their goals were the same. Could mean Scratch and Wake are one and the same, or just a coincidence. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. If it, Are they the same person, or is this Scratch just using Wake's form to trick us? David and I took a break and I moved to Watery with Logan. There we go. Boom. Case closed. I know nice. what is real and what isn't. A megalomaniac writer can't make me doubt that. I have more family than I even knew. 
and I need to protect them all. Nice. Cool. That's so nice whenever we get to close a case out. Investigating the story's lies led me to a family I didn't know I had. Or was finding them part of the story, too. Maybe it doesn't matter. That's kind of what I'm wondering. Like, are these people really, like, part of her family in, like, real life? And she just doesn't know about them in her real life? Or are they just part of the story to help her get through this, through it? So... You know, I don't, I don't really know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, FBC file linking cult activity to wake. Okay, where would this go? Um, there we go. It's possible wake is connected to the cult, but if scratch is identical to wake, then this could refer to either of them. Okay. Then the story. Okay, so we got this. An FBC brought powerful light arrays to subdue Taken. Um... Dark presence, maybe? No, it had to be over here then. Yeah, there we go. The so dark that one's presence close there. is vulnerable against bright light. At least that makes sense. Okay, so it looks like all these are for later. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see. Go ahead and check out the computer now. Oh, there's a bunch here. Okay, memory loss. The battle to regain your mind. Arthur L. Limp. A revolution for the brain. Experience of time and other neuroscience breakthroughs. Author PRSA. PRSA? UFO Myth and Reality Part 3. Tricksters and Falsehoods. Author Westmore. UFO Myth and Reality Part 2. UFO Myth and Reality Part 1. Don't forget. A1, B2, C3, I9, OK, L2. What? I wonder what that's for. OK. I will not forget that because I screenshotted it. Yes, that's the best way for me to not be dumb. All right. I want to go talk to Ilmo. See what he's got to say about this whole situation. Then we'll go into the uh, the cell and read about what's going on. I'm sorry about your brother, Ilmo. Yaku was all hard. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect watery and bright falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well... That was the idea anyways. Look, we've always known about the horror inside the lake. When any Taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. Okay, so they are the good guys. So the whole Nightingale thing, Nightingale was already taken. They killed him and they know how to kill them. That's, it's a little weird that they would do it in a cult like fashion tying them to a table and taking out their heart but they're doing the right thing i guess you were trying to kill alan wake why nothing good has ever come out of cauldron lake the nightmare that hit bright falls in 2010 was all because of his writing and ever since then pages of his stories are floating up from the lake and monsters keep popping out it's all him wake and if we don't stop him no one will Wake's evil doppelganger Scratch is the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. Interesting. So, in any of the pages that they've seen, they haven't heard anything about Scratch then. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. Was genius. Just the name did half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Business 101. Fear is a great motivator. Smart. I like how they just have him on a desk there. Okay. You were the better Costco. Much better than me. Okay. 
Um, let's get down here. Um, first, though, was there something here? Yeah, it's called the tree. Gotcha. Okay. So he's never heard of Scratch. Okay, there we go. Cult working for with somebody. Okay. Doesn't seem like the cult has any connection to Scratch. Okay. The cult found Wake's pages inside, taken, and believed he was the cause. Okay. Can't exactly fault their logic. Targeted people already corrupted by the darkness. Nope. There we go. Cool. Oh, so we closed this case too. Cool. Okay. Cult's intentions were good, even though if they weren't seeing the full picture. The cult of the tree is just the Cascella brothers' slightly misguided solution to the Taken problem. Gotcha. They served as a sort of neighborhood watch against the Taken, not the bad guys here. The ritual is meant to destroy Taken, not create them. So there's still more stuff I can put in there, even though the case is closed. So I guess we have to find a couple more things to close these ones out. Okay. And then we've got profiling on the Coskellas. Killing Taken. Ilmo said the cult kills Taken. Is he telling the truth? Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater, a Taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Ilmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the Taken. We're on the same side. Okay, that's good to know. He's not just pulling our leg. Nightingale came back. If the cult is killing Taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party, invitation only. Wrong time, wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Okay. Deduction available. So where would that be at? The deduction? Is that on the case board? Yeah, okay. Nightingale was already taken. Cult's ritual would have stopped him, but it was interrupted. Okay, so that's done. Nice. All right. Cool. All right, let's get in here. Take a look at what's in this cell. So it was... Right here, there we go. Okay, so we're probably gonna have a good bit to read in here. So I apologize if I screw a bunch of stuff up because I'm big dumb. The cult didn't trust Wake. Or is it Scratch? Okay, transcript of interview with subject Alan Wake. Suspected para utilitarian. Location Bright Falls, Washington. Interviewer Kirian Esvez, lead agent. Kirian. Mr. Wake, you have been taken into FBC custody and will receive an in-depth interrogation at a later date, but for now I need to ask if there is anything you can tell us regarding the incident at the hotel. Anything we may need to know. Alan, there is a force you don't understand. A presence, it's after me. It wants to consume me, consume everything. Kirian, yes, you mentioned this dark presence before. Why does it want you? Alan, it feeds on artists on the art they create. It wants me because of my writing, but it can be any form of art, any artistic expression, music, painting, film, photography. It can feed on any of it, all of it. You have to believe me, Kirian. We are well aware of this entity, Mr. Wake. We've been tracking the situation here for a long time now. You yourself have been on our radar for over a decade. I'm sure those nuts in the research department are just going to love checking you out. Hey, make a note to redact that before submission. Let's get back on track. You mentioned a light switch earlier. Where is it now? Alan. I don't know, but I need it. I can't end this without it. Will you help me get it? Kirian. Mr. Wake, you are in custody, pending charges for breaching an, of numerous federal violation codes. We are not going to give you a suspected paranatural object. Alan Wake, you're not blank listening to me. Kirian, we're listening just fine. Now, do you have any accomplices? 
Alan, F you. <laughs> Let me the F out of here. It's coming for me. We're all in danger. The interview was terminated due to subject being uncooperative. Okay. Wake isn't the first person the dark presence disguised itself as. Okay, report supplement the shadow. Summary. Through extensive interviews with witnesses of AWE 35, additional details regarding the shadow, A010, have been discovered. Redacted and redacted, both present during the AWE, reported seeing a woman named Barbara Jagger in Bright Falls at the time. Jagger is, for, is a former actress and Bright Falls resident who immigrated with the filmmaker Thomas Zane from Finland and was reported to have drowned in Cauldron Lake during the redacted AWE in 1970. Research staff have concluded that Jagger's appearance is a, likely a cause of the shadow manifesting itself in human form. Research is ongoing as to the nature of the connection between the shadow and the psychophysical signatures available for it to mimic. Current hypotheses are A. The shadow can only manifest as artists or individuals tangentially involved in the creation of art who have operated within a certain physical range of Cauldron Lake. The shadow can manifest as any individual contained definition needed within Cauldron Lake. Research is actively ongoing. Okay. So it does. So that's, they do attach themselves to artists, I guess. Okay. Which would mean like the woman that's crocheting these things could potentially be a victim of it or the the writers that came in looking for Alan Wake at the beginning of it could be sucked into it. If they I guess if they drowned in the lake or if they went into the lake. Okay. So got more the here. Is a gateway to the dark place. <laughs> Deployment order, urgent situation. At approximately 1900 hours on 13th of September, 2023, readings from a remote surveillance unit monitoring Cauldron Lake, a known threshold to what researchers theorize is the origin dimension of A040, the shadow, past acceptable limits. Attempts to contact FBC research facility WAO3 codenamed the Lake House were unsuccessful. On-site event verification is not possible. Response procedures are initiated with immediate effect. Lead agent K. Estevez will mobilize investigation unit beta from the remote operations site at Redacted. All available shadow specific equipment, lot 411B, has been approved for the use for use in the field. Objectives. To confirm an active event. If an active AWE is occurring, the dispatch team will identify its nature and severity, limit exposure, and attempt to contain or neutralize its source. If no event is active, check monitoring equipment, perform a limited profile sweep of the area, and check status of the lake house and its staff. Additional information, relevant operatives in the area include the Cult of the Tree, Redacted and Alan Wake, currently missing. Okay, so operatives. So they knew that the Cult of the Tree was helping, I guess, but why did they have them in custody with Alan? Maybe just to question him about what's going on. I don't know. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? Yeah, I don't know. I've been reading that a couple of times. Item classified request uh, number 194-F. Summary of findings. Description para-util para utility. Based on reports, the item is a light switch from a lamp cord with part of the severed cord still attached. Eyewitness accounts suggest that the item possesses the ability to alter reality. The changes between being based on redacted when used by a capable para-utilitarian. Parsing this item's effect from the that of the Cauldron Lake threshold responsible for recurring AWEs in the area is difficult because the only reported uses of the item have occurred near this threshold. Without more data, we cannot confirm if the item intensifies, intensifies the effect on the threshold or vice versa, or if there's no connection whatsoever. Recorded material from Dr. Hartman after becoming a redacted have revealed that Alan Wake eliminated Barbara Jagger, 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 likely a physical manifestation of a redacted by inserting the light switch into its chest and flicking the switch. The item confirmed to have been used in 2010 to turn fictional writing into reality. See file AWE35. However, it's unclear what the restrictions and limitations of this effect are. Conclusion. The light switch is a possible OOP, but the team cannot conclusively classify the item based on secondhand accounts. Proper examination and testing is required in order to determine classification and precise effect of the item. 
Okay, so they knew about all this stuff. But they just weren't giving up their information. Mm, no, no, we're not. Okay, let's go ahead and get this stuff uh, done here. Cases, boot the story. Can we actually do stuff here now? Cool. FPC file and the clicker and its paranormal qualities, paranatural qualities. Yes. Doink. The clicker amplifies any changes to reality suggested by a piece of art. Makes them permanent. All right. Dark presence feeds on artists and the art they produce. It's not just writing, music, painting, film, photography. Any artistic expression can feed it. Okay, and then we've got Waken the Clicker. FBC file on Cauldron Lake threshold to another reality. Wakes in the dark place and Cauldron Lake is a threshold to it. Uh, assumed the form of Barbara Jagger. I need to know what information I can still trust. Okay. This isn't the first time the Dark President has stolen someone's form. So it does just take other people's form. So it probably isn't actually Wake. It's just taking his form. FPC file and capability of light switch objects on the clicker. According to the file, Wake has used the clicker to change reality before. Okay, and we got profiling here on Tor. Trusting Wake. Wake told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker can make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. He wasn't lying. Interesting. So he wasn't lying about that, even though he was Scratch? What kind of games he's trying to play with us? He's trying to play games with us. Okay, what do we need to do? Come up with a new plan. Ask Estevez about the clicker. We also need to figure out the code for that shotgun, boys. I kind of want to get that shotgun. I feel like it's going to be better than the one we get right here. Let's take a look around. See, I'm going to look around and see if I can find anything that could potentially help us with that. So I think it's got something to do with the books here. I mean, this is the only thing in here with numbers on it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So these are 10, 11, 12. So it looks like it just restarts 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But what do they have to do with... Because this little book thing here, what do they have to do with the books? UFO, UFO, UFO. 3, 2, 1. Maybe these are like the orders, like... <clears throat> Three, this will be the number, th the third number, second number, first number. So tricksters and falsehoods, because, so T, C, S, so T. I gotta get a piece of paper. So L is two, so M, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so what was it? So this one, tricksters and falsehoods, so zero. Communication would be three. Sightings, nine. And that would be nine, three, zero. Try that. Nope. Okay, well, that's just great. Oh, I can actually get on the computer too? What? Okay, well, we'll check a look at that in a second. <laughs> Didn't even realize that. Um, okay, so tricks and falsehoods. Author, author, author. Maybe the author. So Westmore, W would be three. Um, Bast 
Batston would be two. Quincy seven. So seven, two, three. Come on, baby. Aha! We're so smart. I'm now sure Sheriff Breakham wouldn't mind me borrowing this. Yeah. Yeah. All accounted for. I guess I got all the weapons in the game. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're going to swap that out with uh, this here. There we go. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Oh, I can't pull it out. Lame. Okay. All right, so that wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Okay, let's take a look at this computer, considering we literally overlooked it from before. Okay, so let's go back as far as we need to go. Staff kitchen policy reminders. Do not microwave whole fish. I should have, should have to say this. Okay. Important information. Mulligan... Uh, owes me 20 bucks and refuses to pay it back. I suggest we dock his pay for that amount plus interest and add it directly into my paycheck. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, important information. Thornton doesn't remember I already paid him back by buying him lunch months ago, so don't listen to him. And I definitely do not do not touch my pay or I'll swear to God, I'll sue. Deputy Mulligan. Reminder, the front desk computer and admin email are not to be used for personal quarrels or other unofficial business. And remember to wash your coffee mugs. So that one computer out front was like complaining about the coffee stuff. Yeah. Uh, Deerfest safety preparations offered Sir Barbara Morgan. Hey, y'all missed the sink on Deerfest safety prep last time. Any updates? What's the latest on crowd control? Who put bayonets into the suggestion box was clear of the kidding, right? Right? <laughs> Security measures. I understand that there's a need to keep the arrested folks under lock and key, but who the heck is the paranoid madman who decided we needed every other door in our facility to be geared with the latest high tech Top security nonsense. This stuff's not safe. One power outage and those locks aren't budging. I've warned you about this half a dozen times. Now, don't blame me when you're locked in on your way out with no way out. Okay, so that that's like kind of calling back to what we've already been through here, where all the doors were locked last episode. Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. Cool. All right. Turns out the cult was fighting Taken. So the cult of the tree actually kills Taken. They were on our side, even if their methods are misguided and criminal. It looked right from where we were standing. Nothing's what it seems in this case. Too many stories contradicting each other. Too many versions of the truth. We have a lot of catching up to do after this thing is all over. Everything is different now. My family, me, the whole fucking world. I'll buy the coffee, Anderson. Partners to the end. This case is one for the books. I see what you did there. All right. Yeah, look away. That's what I thought. Okay. Come up with a new plan. That's my objective. I get to come up with a new plan. Um, I would really like to play as Alan, but I don't know if that's an option right now. I guess I'm going to just look around and see what we find. I really don't know what to do. Oh. I'm going to deal with the situation, Elmo. But the town will need protection until we sort this out. I could use your help. Right. Right. I'll round up the gang. Whoever's left. We won't let these fucking monsters hurt any more of our people. We'll do my brother proud. Thank you, Elmo. So, I've been looking around for a bit. And I'm not really sure what to do because we still just have come up with a new plan as our goal. We can go to Cauldron Lake or Watery, which it's empty. I really don't know if we sh should do that. Um, right. But there is a spot in here where I can change realities. I'm going to see if I can go back to Alan and see just what's going on there. Because after everything that's happened, I would kind of like to know. How sweet we can. Cool.
All right. So where were we? It's been a while since we've done anything as Alan. Get to Parliament Tower, gain entry to Parliament Tower, put the photos from the talk show studio basement inside the shoebox at the plaza. Okay, that's right, because we couldn't, I couldn't get back into the basement. Because we couldn't, this is the only way to get in. So we need to figure out how to get in. Well, maybe now that we've played as Saga some and we've progressed that part, maybe we can actually get in now. I forget how to get even get down in there. Wait. Oh my gosh. I'm an idiot. It's been here the whole time. Boy, I've ran past that probably eight times already. Okay. Okay, I don't think there's anything around here. We're just going to have to... Let's change this back. There we go. Okay. Good evening. A writer trapped in a dream world attempts to write a story to shape reality around him and escape. He is beset by visions leaking in from realities beyond his own. He uses those visions as inspiration for his stories in hopes of giving them power to make them come true. Us, hidden few, know that ultimately he will succeed. But before that, many of his stories collapse back into the stuff that dreams are made of to remain as they began, works of fiction. And yet, maybe there is a gleam of truth to be unearthed from these tales. Rare glimpse into the unseen realities beyond our own, offering us intriguing avenues of contemplation as they transpire in the night spring. Okay. I'm gonna play Night Springs once we're done. Okay. Well, once we're done with the full series anyway. So we gotta get... Um, is it over here? I believe this is the table those photos are on. The shoebox is here. There we go. Alice's photos. I recognize the style. The clicker. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. I need to get them to the plaza. Okay. All right. It's not going to be that easy, is it? It's pretty bright down here, so we should be okay. Okay. He says. <laughs> I don't want none, boy. Wake. That? Wake. That shadow looks kind of like Scratch or us, you know. So we got to get back out to the uh, the statue and put the pictures the down. Now. I needed to put them into the shoebox by the statue. Wake. Leave me alone. I don't want none. Wait. What? Why did it take us back here? Can we not play as Alan anymore? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm going back in. I'm going back in, guys. Let's do it. So we can't get into Parliament Tower. And over here it just says to come up with a new plan, which I don't really know how to do that. Okay, so there are some... There's some stuff here that I completely forgot to do. That's probably what's going on. Um, 
So Estevez, the FPC, identified the clicker as a paranatural item. They believe it has power. Okay. The clicker can fix this, but I can't use it without Wake. Okay. Tor knows about this stuff. Maybe he can help. Dude, there's so much stuff in the story that we can't do. Okay. Um, let's talk to Tor real quick. Rescuing Wake. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. Uh, okay. All right. So, cases. Wake and the clicker. Clicker can be used by anyone as long as the holder believes in the power of the art's message. Gotcha. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. Okay. Um. Yeah. But what is that work of art you say? I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything for good. Okay, so that's all we needed to do. So we have to share the plan with Casey and Estevez. Okay, let's get back there. Oh, hey guys, I figured it out, I think. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. Wouldn't know where to start, but I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? This is the beginning of the end game. To travel to Cauldron Lake, you need to save your game first. Exploring and traveling to other areas will be limited if you choose to continue. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's save you over here just in case. That'll save you a couple times. I'm ready to head to Cauldron Lake now. Let's get the plan started. Okay, here we go. We'll be there for you. What do you need from us? I'll head to Cauldron Lake with the clicker. Scratch, we'll try to get you, Anderson. You'll need backup. I can tell there's no talking you out of coming, Casey. Estevez, is there a way to get that light array to the lake? Oh, I've got you covered, so good news there. And we'll bring our mobile containment unit. It's specially built for entities like Scratch. And this work of art, Anderson. What's the plan for that? I'll make some calls on the way. Just meet me at Cauldron Lake. Okay. Perform the ritual at Cauldron Lake. All right, let's do it. Let's get to Cauldron Lake. Tor, I need the old gods of Asgard. I need a very special song. Hell yeah! <laughs> the tour bus is already loaded, and we said our goodbyes. Ready to hit the road, just like the old times, baby. You saw this coming, huh? Of course. I need a song about Alan Wake, about bringing him out of the dark place. A writer. A lake of darkness, bringing him into the light. <laughs> it writes itself. I hope they've still got it. All right. I think they do. Do you hear that enthusiasm? What's this? Oh. There's a manuscript page that we completely missed. Okay. Well, the cult finds the clicker. Boy, we missed a lot. We really did miss a lot in this game, but that's fine. After getting his hands on the FBC files... Ilmo Koskalin knew what he was up against. He masterminded the cult, his and Yako's army, to fight the fucked up horror lurking under the lake, and a plan to keep those feds in their bunker by the lake in the dark. 
Outsiders would only screw things up. The Koskalas sabotaged the FPC's monitoring station and rigged it to alert them when something was brewing at the lake. One time months later, when the alarm rang, they drove to the lake again, ready for a fight. But this time, they didn't find any monsters. Something else washed ashore. The light switch. They'd read how Wake had stopped Jagger with it in the stolen files. From that point on, whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. Okay, so that's actually that was actually good, some good information. So that's why they actually cut the heart out. Okay, that that's good. That's good. So I was wondering why they did it the way they did it, but. Pick up. David. David. It's me. Where have you. Stop. For once, you need to listen. You left me. You took my daughter away from me. Then you let her. She's dead because of you. And I don't ever want to hear your voice again. Stop calling me. David! Jesus Christ. It's getting worse. It's spreading. I'm running out of time. Yep, she's running out of time. It's starting to spread out, like the um, the one lady said. Get to the lake shore. Okay, now we've got to figure out or remember how to do this. Okay. Um, we never got in here, but, you know, we're going to make a detour real quick because I want to go in there and see what this has got for us. We're incoming with the lights, Anderson. Where do you want them? Set them up on the shore. We need to be ready if Scratch shows up. Me like he did shotgun. Wait a second. Did I not get? Wait a second. Oh, I gotta go back this way. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. We're figuring it out. So we can use the bolt cutters. We've never been in here before. Please let me do this. Sweet. Okay. This was like the one spot that I have been wanting to look at for pretty much this whole game that we were just never able to get into. The lights are on over there. Okay. Gotta keep an eye out for some manuscript pages too because I know we're missing a few. So I don't want to... I don't want to miss stuff if I can if I can help it. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything back there. Nothing in here. Okay. Understood. Property seizure notice. Can't be opened on this side. Okay. Well, we'll go around back. Oh, we're going to have to go through the other one. And, okay. I understand. There we go. There it is. There it is. Sweet. His hair was longer than I remembered, blowing gently in the cool night breeze. I put my hand on his cheek to confirm that he was indeed real. And he was. He was real. Feeling his handsome beard, wild but neatly trimmed beneath my fingers, proved it. You're back, I breathed. Yes, I'm back. I wasn't cold any longer. All right. So that's fan fiction about Alan. We're standing on the couch. Cool. Okay, let's see if we can... Um, oh, wait, we can do stuff here. Lunchbox. Okay, that's right. Yep. Uh, wait. Oh, we're already there. I'm an idiot. Cauldron Lake. Boom, we did it. We actually completed one of them. That's good. 
<laughs> we missed a few. That's fine, though. Um, call to the tree. Let's go ahead and just finish these out real quick. Uh, whoever the cult caught, or whenever the cult caught somebody taken by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. Cool. All right. So that one's closed completely. I don't think we can actually still do anything with this. No. Okay. It's fine. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, we've only got 10. Uh, so we've got this now. Yeah, I still can't do anything with that. Okay, that's fine. There you go. Okay, so this one's got the lights on. Interesting. Okay, so I can't switch realities anymore. Did we finish off Alan's part? I just don't... There's like, another cult stash. Oh, the cult stash. Okay. Uh, window, tornado... Castle, bridge. What? Do I already have this? I don't. Okay, well. If we find it, we find it, but I don't really understand where that would be. Through a window? Let's just go ahead and go. Um, I'm not really going to concern myself with that stash. Our inventory is pretty full. Wait, who's that? Oh. Okay. Something here. Day one, some weird animal tried to break into our clubhouse. It was scary. Max hit it off with a big stick and it ran away. I think it was a squirrel before. Our candy stash has gone missing. Maybe it was a squirrel. Max found candy wrappers in the woods. There was some big poops there. It wasn't the squirrel. Max has gone missing. Uh-oh. Beware the wicked witch rules. One person is the wicked witch. Everyone else has to run and hide. When the witch says, beware me... Everybody has to change places. If you go to someone's someone else's hiding place, you can tag them and kill to kill them. Don't get tagged and killed. If the wicked witch finds you, you're dead. If you find the witch's lair, she is caught. Burn the witch. Like some kids stuff. So I'm just playing around, having some fun. That must be Torn Odin. <laughs> I should check in. Oh, there they go. <laughs> I need you to meet me at the shore. Is this song ready? Almost. Odin's got a killer chorus. Call the sit. Roll. Tree. Tree. What tree? There's no tree in the song. Who the fuck put the tree in the middle of the road? I'm not a tree roll. Drive carefully, Grandpa. Pedal to the metal, bro. <laughs> Very rock and roll way to drive. They <laughs> literally just losing pieces of their bus. That's pretty funny. I hope I'm going the right way. I'm just kind of following the path of destruction that they left. The lights in the containment cell are good to go, Anderson. Great. A Torin Odin there yet? <laughs> the two golden oldies? Oh, well, they're here. And they bought moonshine. I love them already. <laughs> they're a lot. You wanted to know what art we would use? Well, that's them. I'll be there soon. All right. Let's go ahead and bust into this one. Yeah, we'll take those just in case. One, two. It's really annoying whenever it doesn't actually hit the flashlight. Rude. Okay. Uh, we should probably heal a little bit. There we go. Testing. Testing. 
<laughs> Gonna need more reverb. I'm getting no bounce out here. There we go. Get tell or and or Anderson, I can drop more gear down for you if you're running low. I'll use the lights to hit the taken when they come. Light them up for you. Grandpa, back. you signal me when the song is done, and I'll use the clicker to bring Wake back. Hit it! Hello, Cauldron Lake! Great to see so many federal agents here tonight. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> This song goes out to our favorite tortured writer. Let these sweet tunes guide you out of the darkness. It's called Dark Ocean Summer Name. Ah! Hey, you're making me look bad in front of Saga, bro. <laughs> uh, Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, we're going to get all this stuff. Where's that ammo he told me to stock up on? <laughs> What am I supposed to be doing? Like, do I just taken on the way. survive the summoning ritual? Okay. All right. Anderson, trouble on the way. 
Give me a ton of ammo. Just throw down one box with a ton in it, dude. Seems like a waste of resources and time. Make it real? So where the fuck is he? Parliament Tower. It was back. 